Welcome back guys to Aesthetics. So we're, today we're gonna do a different problem. We're gonna do 1.16. So it says, the Pascal is actually a very small unit of pressure. To show this, convert one Pascal, which is equal to one Newton over meter squared to pound over inch squared. Atmosphere pressure at sea level is 14.7 pound over each square. How many Pascal is this? Okay, so basically at the problem they're giving us that pressure, atmospheric pressure, it's equal to 14.7 pounds per inch square. Okay, and they want us to convert it into Newtons over meter square. So, how are we going to do this? So, we need to convert pounds into newtons and inches squared into meters squared. So, for this, we're going to use these conversion factors I have over here. What do they mean? Well, what they actually mean is that one meter is equal to 1,550 inches squared. And that one pound is equal to 4.45 um, newtons. Where did I find these numbers? I didn't, it didn't occur in my mind. I just Google them or you can find them on your book, okay? So basically, that's what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna take, what we're gonna do is that our pressure, which is equal to 14.7 pounds per inch square, we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor. So, how do I know how to use these conversion factors, okay? So, the way we do this is, for example, let's start with the first one, with the meter squared and the inch squared. So, if we look at the conversion we want to convert, so uh, the units I already have that I want to convert, the inches squared is at, at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do is that this number at the inch squared, I'm going to put it on top. Why am I going to put these numbers on top? Well, it is because if I have them on top, what I can do is that I cancel the ones at the bottom with the ones on top. That way I get rid of the inches. And by the way, where, which units are we going to be left with? Well, since we are multiplying by this, we need to multiply by something that is equal to it. Divide by, sorry, sorry divide by something that is equal to it, which is one meter square. And we're left with the meter square, which is what we wanted. So this is how you use the conversion factors. After that, we're gonna use our other conversion factor and we're gonna do the same. So we want to cancel pounds. So I'm gonna put the pounds at the bottom. My pounds are on top. I put my pounds at the bottom over here so I can cancel them off. And then I'm, I put the 4.45 Newtons on top. And that way, my pounds cancel with my pounds and I'm left with meter squares and Newtons, which is actually what a Pascal is. So, my pressure at the end is going to be equal to, we're gonna use our calculator, so we do 14.7 multiplied by 1,550 and also multiplied by 4.45. And we're gonna be left with 101,000 393 Pascals. Okay, we can round this number uh, depending on how many significant figures your book or your answer would like to tell us. I'm gonna convert it into a kilo Pascals. So if I want kilo, it means times 10 to the positive 3. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna count three numbers to the left. So one, two, three, and that's it. That's where I stuck my kilo, and that's my kilo pascals. Okay, and then this should be the answer. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.